These are a few kids that we invited to attend our summer camp in our travels around the Philippines the last few days. These are kids who have never attended before and we went to visit to make a personal invitation for them to attend. This is, first one is Gabriel. Uh, he was, he's a Christian already. He was, he was born blind. He lost his arm when he was about four years old to a stray bullet from a neighbor. But he told us he could play the guitar, so I asked him to demonstrate how a uh, one-armed blind person could play the guitar, so he played for us. And he can make it work. He did really well, and he's looking forward and excited about coming to the camp next week. We'll fly all these kids to Manila, and they will uh, join us for a week at the summer Bible camp. From there, we went to uh, visit his cousin Timmy, who lives not too far away. Timmy's never been to school, never gone anywhere, and he seemed a little reluctant to join us, so we brought in uh, some neighbors and relatives to uh, work on him. By the time we left, it looked like he was uh, ready to attend. I guess we'll find out in two days from now whether he shows up. They have to travel to the big city and get on an airplane and fly to Manila, so his mother gave permission. So we'll, we hope to see him there. And from there, we went out to another very, very remote place where there's a family with five blind kids, and, and two of their daughters are the right age. And they, uh, they were excited. They're ready to go to camp. They've never been to school, never gone anywhere either. But, uh, they're looking forward to it. And, uh, we're looking forward to having them there to join us at the camp. Uh, from there, we went, we went to another province and visited uh, Rowena. Found her at home. She's left to take care of her younger siblings and cook their lunch and 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 to do everything for them. Uh, so we talked to her about going to camp, and she's. Uh, She's very, she's interested in going to camp too, but we had to wait for her mother. Her mother came home and her mother is all okay with her for going to camp, but then we had to wait for the father, so I guess we won't know either for sure about Rowena uh, until a couple of days. And we stopped by another place, uh, this girl named Myla, comes from a really pretty dysfunctional family. Um, I think it would be good for her to come to the camp and really hoping and praying that she's able to join us at the camp. Uh, next week. Be here first time too. There we no sorrow there, no more burden to bear, no more sickness. So we really, we really ask you to pray for these kids. There'll be about a hundred kids at the at this second camp, this teenage camp. And uh, about half of them usually are first timers. It's just a great opportunity to share the Lord's love with them and to, um, if they're not Christian, to introduce them to the Lord. If they are, to really try to help strengthen their faith and their walk with the Lord. So, uh, hope to have your prayers on that, and we'll try to give a report after the camp on how many of these kids were able to come. Thank you for Ah, uh, pasensya ka na po.